Volcano stir in Latin America, Iceland, Italy and Indonesia. As of Tuesday, July 12th, air travel continued to be affected by Chile's Puyehue Cordon Volcano Complex, which had been still spewing an ash cloud reaching two kilometres into the air. Both domestic and international flights were delayed or cancelled in Argentina, causing havoc for thousands of football supporters amid the Copa America competition being held in several Argentine cities. In nearby Montevideo, Uruguay's Carrasco International Airport, ash clouds prompted the cancellation of over 60 departures and arrivals. In Iceland, scientists were monitoring the Katla volcano on Saturday after a massive flood of meltwater was recorded from the Mia del Sjokit glacier. Concerns were raised that the floodwaters could have been triggered by a small eruption of the volcano situated below the glacier's ice cap. On Saturday afternoon, Italy's Mount Etna on the island of Sicily erupted as well, spewing lava on its southeastern slopes and releasing a dense ash plume that rose to over two kilometers into the air. As winds carried ash to Catania, officials closed the Catania Vincenzo Bellini airport overnight. In Indonesia's Sulawesi, officials raised the alert status for the Mount Lokan volcano to its highest level of red on Sunday night, following increased activity over the weekend that sent ash 500 meters into the air. On Monday, officials began evacuating hundreds of residents in the northern island of Sulawesi from within a 3.5 kilometer radius of the volcano, saying that up to 20,000 could be displaced should the wind continue blowing to the east of Mount Lokan. There have fortunately been no reports of casualties from any of these events. Our appreciation official and scientists working to monitor these situations and ensure the safety of the public. May all corners of the world be protected from such potential disasters as humanity's kinder lifestyles help secure the stability of our Earth. Supreme Master Ching Hai wants to convey this message of gratitude to all governments, organizations and relief workers from every corner of the world. Thank you all the international and national help that brings care and necessities to afflicted victims. Thank you all the relief workers for taking time and forsaking your own comfort, even travelling great distance on unfavourable roads and conditions to bring love and assistance to people in time of need. May heaven bless you abundantly for your generosity and noble sacrifice.